Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's weekly love message for the upcoming week. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's see here, Virgo, what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Okay, so Virgo, just looking overall at the cards, um, and we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. But I feel here you're finally seeing the truth to a matter and coming to the conclusion that this isn't working. Okay. I feel like there is an energy of deception. I feel like this person that you're walking away from comes back and apologizes and they're not sincere. The apology is not genuine. Okay. They tell you whatever they feel like you need to hear in order to regain your attention, to get you back in their grasps, okay? And we see that in the outcome here with the Page of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Cups, okay? So this is the outcome. And this is definitely an energy of a person apologizing, but not being sincere, not being honest, okay? Now, the energy surrounding you this week is the Four of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel here in this energy, Virgo, that you're trusting your intuition. I feel like even though this is an energy of reciprocity, trying to find a balance, something tells me that this isn't working. Okay, so we're going to clarify all of this right now. Now, Part of the challenge here is the stability with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. This isn't a very stable connection. Again, guys, when it's the challenge, you read them in the reverse. So let's clarify the Four of Wands, the High Priestess, Six of Pentacles. person is very draining on your energy. I feel like this isn't balanced at all. Okay. Even though we have the six of pentacles in the upright here, we have it in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. This tells me that this isn't a very stable connection. Now, what I feel here coming out from the main cards, Virgo, is you try to make this work. I feel like you've given this opportunity, this situation, whether this is relationships or a work situation, a business opportunity, you've given this several tries and it hasn't worked to this point. It's just been very draining on your energy. I feel like you're letting this go. Four of pentacles in the reverse. You're letting this situation go and focusing on the future, focusing on moving forward. Now let's clarify the challenge here. With the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Please and thank you, Spirit. I feel like this happened very unexpectedly. This person walking away or you finding this information out. However, I feel like this was necessary. The reason why... The reason being here, we have the world energy on the main deck, okay? So the world energy is a completion of a cycle. It's it's taking things to the next level or taking life to the next level. But we see here in the cards, you're letting go of something and moving forward very quickly. But I feel like for some time, Virgo, this was very draining on your energy. Moving forward. You're very aware the Page of Cups, the Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. You're very aware of how this person is showing up. It's almost as if this person can't hide anymore. They can't hide how they truly are as a person because the truth has been revealed here. And you're moving forward. 
in a more positive direction. Now I do feel here, Virgo, that this has been a difficult transition. Okay, tower energy. There has been a situation here where you have had to walk away from a person that has, hasn't been very conscious with their energy. Let's put it that way. Okay. Now maybe this was intentional. Maybe they intentionally were trying to sabotage the things that you were working on, the things that you were trying to focus on. Maybe this was unintentional. Maybe they're not really aware of their behavior patterns or that their trauma patterns are affecting their relationships. You're focusing on the things that are making you feel stable, making you feel secure, helping you to heal and moving forward. Okay, very independent type of energy. I feel like you're setting boundaries. You've definitely changed your perspective on the situation. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles, the seven of wands, the hanged man, the eight of wands and the death energy. This was like on the top of the deck like that. So it's time to focus on the new, let go of the past, okay? Because it wasn't working. It was a very imbalanced situation. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you're interested in a personal reading, the information is all linked below in the description box. Moving forward, Virgo, the advice. Seven of Wands. Perfect. I'm glad that card came back out. It's time to set boundaries with this particular person. Focus on the things that make you feel stable, make you feel secure. Feel like there's a job opportunity, work situation, new opportunity coming in here with the ace of pentacles that you're going to be focusing on more than this situation with this person so set the boundaries needed i feel like you're headed in the right direction walking away from this person wasn't easy but it's what was needed in order to bring in the right energy because for the longest time i feel like how this person was treating you wasn't very fairly like you gave this person chance after chance after chance, Virgo, it's time to set the boundaries, okay? That you're no longer accepting this behavior. And for those of you that have already expressed those boundaries, it's time to stand your ground in that. So let's pull out a four truth message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. So Virgo, your four truths message coming out for your reading is always do your best, love and nurture your body. Your own body is a manifestation of God. And if you honor your body, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body. This will plant seeds of love in your mind. And when they grow, you will love, honor and respect your body immensely. Love and nurture your body. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. The main thing that I get from this entire reading is it's time to focus on the things that help you feel secure. Make your environment more stable. And let go of the things that create chaos. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.